Hello, we are watching the news broadcast daily, and following are today's headlines. President Chung Tun Sang meets Vice Chairman of Lao National Assembly Song Fan Phan Kham Mi. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng hosts the seventh summit of the Cambodia-Laos-Vietnam Development Triangle in Vientiane. Vietnamese and U.S. experts share experiences in educating autistic children. President Chung Tân Sang received Vice Chairman of the Lao National Assembly, Som Phan Phan Khami, in Hanoi on March 13. At the meeting, Sang praised the close cooperation between the two national assemblies over the past time. He affirmed he would do his best to strengthen the Vietnam-Lao special relations. For his part, the Lao guest said his working visit aims to share experience in building the system of legal documents with the Vietnamese side. He said the Lao National Assembly will work with its Vietnamese counterpart to boost the effective and sustainable cooperation between the two sides, thus contributing to promoting the Vietnam-Lao special relationship. President Chung Tân Sang met with Takebe Tsutomu, former president of the Japan-Vietnam Friendship Parliamentarian Alliance in Hanoi on March 12. At the meeting, Sang appreciated contributions by Japanese parliamentarians to the development of diplomatic ties between Vietnam and Japan. Sang said he wished the Japanese guest, who is now a senior advisor for the alliance, continues contributing to bilateral ties. Takebe's visit is a chance for the two sides to review and enhance diplomatic relationship to a higher level, Sang said. He added the two countries to have potential for cooperation in many fields. Takebe said that as the alliance advisor, he hopes that a Japanese university will be built in Vietnam. According to him, this will help train human resources for Vietnam and help boost the relationship between the two nations. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung on March 12 hosted the 7th summit of the Cambodia-Laos-Vietnam Development Triangle in Vientiane. The meeting was attended by Lao Prime Minister Thong Sin Thamavong and Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen. The participants reviewed the implementation of agreements signed in the sixth summit. They proposed measures to further boost regional cooperation in the time to come. The three Prime Ministers put forth a number of orientations for the development of the Triangle region. They pointed out six key issues that the Joint Coordination Committee for the Cambodia-Laos-Vietnam Development Triangle has to focus in the coming time. Among others, the committee should take the initiative in seeking new sources of capital who should have the signing of an agreement between the three countries on preferential policies and develop high-quality human resources for projects in the region. The same day, Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung and leaders from Cambodia, Laos and Myanmar attended the sixth summit of the four countries. Dung said, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar and Vietnam need to accelerate regional integration, consolidate and improve their role in regional and global production chains and narrow the development gap between them and other ASEAN countries. Dung affirmed the Vietnamese government's strong commitment to regional cooperation. He said he hoped the four countries' governments continue working closely to implement cooperation programs in the time to come. On March 13, the Vietnamese government leader participated in the 5th Ayaya Wadi Chao Phraya Mekong Economic Cooperation Strategy Summit. Zoom recommended that the forum should focus on increasing the competitiveness of its member nations by linking markets, forming regional production and supply chain, and improving human resources quality. On the sidelines of the summit, Prime Minister Zoom had met with Vice President of Myanmar, Sai Mo Kham, and High Prime Minister Jin Laksina Wacha. On March 12, National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung arrived in Frankfurt City, beginning his official visit to Germany. He met with leaders of major German groups here the same day. At the meeting, Hung said Vietnam is improving its investment environment to have businesses undertake long-term and effective operations in the country. The vietnam germany strategic partnership has been developing strongly and gaining achievements in all fields, he said. Germany is now Vietnam's biggest trading partner in the European Union, with bilateral trade hitting nearly 6 billion US dollars in 2012. 
The top Vietnamese legislator highly valued the role and presence of Germany's leading businesses in Vietnam. He asked them to boost investment promotion and cooperation with the Vietnamese side. In another development, a delegation of German entrepreneurs worked with the leaders and businesses of northern Bucknell province to seek investment opportunities. German businesses said they hope to cooperate with Bucknell in health care and human resources training. To understand more about cooperation opportunities, the delegation toured trade villages in Zambing district. Two cluster bombs left over from the war have been removed in the central province of Guangxi by exploded ordnance disposal teams from the non-governmental organization Peace Trees Vienna. The American bombs discovered in Kesang Tao Hunghua district each weighed 227 kilograms and 114 kilograms respectively. The bomb's detonators have yet to be defused because they were buried nearly three meters underground. According to the exploded ordnance disposal teams, these bombs are two of the heaviest they found. They have removed nine heavy bombs since last July in Hunghua district. The bombs could blow up and destroy everything within 30 meters. Vietnam was subjected to 15 million bombs, mines, artillery shells, and other munitions. As much as 10% of these ordnance are estimated to have failed to explode. A symposium on caring and educating autistic children took place in Hanoi on March 12. At the event, participants were provided with an insight into autism in Vietnam to discuss challenges faced by parents and children. The event brought together Vietnamese and U.S. health and education experts government officers and parents of autistic children to discuss issues of diagnosis, intervention treatment, and education. The participants said they advocate policies that support and facilitate inclusive intervention and education for Vietnam's autistic children. Autism is a new issue in Vietnam, so it needs more research work to help us implement more effectively measures to treat, educate, and care autistic children. It is also necessary to raise the community's awareness so that they can join hands in taking care of autistic children. The seminar led a foundation for cooperation between the Vietnamese government, health experts, and non-governmental organizations to improve the lives of autistic children and their families by facilitating partnerships, research, support, and services. Participants emphasized the community's indispensable role in caring and educating autistic children. The event was organized by the U.S. Embassy, the Vietnam National Institute of Educational Sciences, and the United Nations Children's Fund. Da Nang Port in central Vietnam is expected to welcome 46 cruise ships carrying about 50,000 passengers in the first quarter of this year. The figure we have the port achieve is yearly target of 70 ships and 70,000 passengers ahead of schedule, representing a year-on-year -year increase of 20%. Da Nang Port is now a popular destination for cruise ships visiting the central region. It has paid much attention to improving the quality of services, safety and the environment. Blessed with wide sandy beaches and many places of interest, the city's authorities are making efforts to turn each visitor into an ambassador for the city. It aims to attract 3 million tourists this year, up 12.8% from last year's figure. The tourism industry will spearhead the local economy, expecting to record a year-on-year -year increase in revenue of 8.3% to about 309.5 million US dollars. And we come to the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.